Hey everyone, welcome to another quest guide in Lords of the Fallen. This time we're going through the full quest line for Exactor Dunmire, which rewards you with his full armor set, his cane, the best radiance catalyst in the game, and it expands his inventory, allowing you to purchase some really cool looking weapons, armor, and spells. Before we get to the steps, there are some very important things you should know. So there are two ways that I would recommend going about completing this quest. The first is going step by step, returning to Dunmire every time you collect one of his quest items. And the second way is collecting every item that's part of his quest and giving them to him all at once. I gave everything to him all at once, but the only reason I did it that way is because I was juggling three other quests during this run and I just forgot to visit him. And the one downside to this way is that the pacing of the story on the quest is going to be very weird because the events of it are happening over a few minutes instead of over the course of the whole game. But if you don't mind that and instead just want to get all the items first and then blast through the quest, that is perfectly fine. I would pick one of these two methods and if you do choose to do it step by step, try to avoid giving him the items out of order. This could cause the quest to break or at best just end up being really confusing. I'm not sure if there's anything else specific that breaks the quest like killing a certain boss or going into a specific area, but in my playthrough I completed the entire quest before entering the Abbey of the Hollowed Sisters. And the only thing I did differently this run was I was just too lazy to go and cleanse the beacons. I don't think that matters, but you really never know with this game, right? So I'd recommend holding off on cleansing them until after you finish this quest. Alright, so this is the list of items you'll need to bring Dunmire. I'll start by showing the location of these items, and once we get to a step where I need to provide additional info, you'll hear my voice again.
Once you give him Vanguard, Barros, and Ravager Gregory's Rosaries, go rest that a Vestige and then check back with him to gain access to those characters' armor and weapons in his inventory. These sets actually look pretty sweet. Here's a preview of the armor and weapons from each of them. Once you've given Dunmire the Umbral Tome, he heads on over to Malhu's room in the Umbral Plain. If Dunmire isn't moving locations when he should be, it's going to be worth going back to a vestige and clicking that rest option again. Now once you've reached this point in the quest, this is your last chance to buy any items you want from his inventory before giving him the next item. Because once he gets that Perception Wisp item, the next time you see him, you won't be able to access his inventory. The Perception Wisp can be procured from a stigma in the Tower of Penance, here's how to find that now. When you give this item to him, he'll move to Sunless Skein. Here's how to find him. Once you catch up to him, exhaust his dialogue here and then head back to Malhu to buy the Umbral Scouring Clump, which costs 50 shrimp. Then head down to the Revelation Depths where you fought the boss Dervila the Pledged Knight, and at the top of the stairs will be a well with an interact button. Right next to that well will be Dunmire's Ring and his Rosary, both of which you can pick up. You can then use the Umbral Scouring Clump you just purchased to gain access to Mother's Lull, which is a secret location, and if you haven't already done the Umbral Ending, this is the final place you need to discover for the Wayfarer achievement. Once you've entered this area, you can find Exactor Dunmire here, slowly going insane from embracing Umbral. You can exhaust his dialogue, exit Mother's Lull, and then he'll be officially gone from your world. You can find his full armor set, cane, and his catalyst in the Sunless Skein, which I'll show you how to get to now. Picking up his loot here will complete the quest and unlock the achievement Price of Knowledge, which says Exactor Dunmire gained the knowledge he sought. Here's a preview of his items equipped on my character if you're curious to see how it looks. And there you go, that is Dunmire's quest completed. Leave me a comment if you found this guide helpful, and I hope you'll stick around for more guides coming soon. Thanks for watching.